Right, uh, you may have noticed that the, the uh, Aurora review has been a little bit shorter than the Grind Rod review, if you've watched that as well. Uh, that's because most of the enthusing that I did about these moulds, uh, I did when I was talking about Grind Rod. Um, Aurora has all of the same perks. He's got excellent articulation, double jointed shoulders, uh, bicep rotation, uh, quite stiff bicep rotation, uh, elbows, wrist rotation, uh, turns at the neck. You can can't can't really look up and down much. Uh, but life goes on. There's more clearance at the back here, so his big bright yellow light piping on the eyes is a bit uh, easier to see. Um, yep, he's got he turns at the waist. He's got universal hips, um, mid thigh rotation, uh, knees, ankle sort of well toe anyway. Um, yeah, he's absolutely grand, articulation wise. Uh, some nice detailing with the the shoulder mounted lamps here, because Searchlight is the tracker of the, the throttle box. And this is a nice callback to his uh, original form, the, the rally car with the big Light lights on the front. Um, which is nice. It's, just, it's, a, it's a really nice little bit of added character. Um, since it's a much... Uh, a very different uh, vehicle mode. The robot mode uh, is very much a strong homage to uh, to Searchlight. Uh, the blue is a bit lighter, I think, than on the original toy. The face is very close. I think, yes, as, as yeah. one would expect from Toy yeah, One. Indeed. Um, they're, they're about the same size. Now, I don't think these guys share a single common part. I really don't. Even, even the the connectors on the on the the rear sec, the rear wheel arches, or any of the uh, small components, nothing. Even the, the thighs and things that are hidden in vehicle mode. And every single part is new on each figure. They're very similarly scaled. Well, because they they each form legs of the combined uh, throttle box. He'd have a bit of a limp if they didn't. Exactly. Um, it it can be an issue with combiners um, if the if the two legs are two completely different moulds they are not always exactly the same height I think these guys will work out about right I guess we'll find out uh, when wide load comes out um, the the one issue I had with grind rod was that he couldn't quite hold his gun straight uh, because the groove on the back of the gun isn't quite wide enough to go over the uh, window panel on the side of his arm. Uh, that has been fixed by giving him a long rifle. Uh, unfortunately, said the long rifle, as I said before, doesn't quite fold up right unless you're willing to spend a couple of minutes with a pair of tweezers or a or a pair of pliers trying to pry it back out, or willing to take it apart as I did with a screwdriver uh, in order to fish out the end of the barrel. That's probably not ideal to uh, to need that. No, not not perfect for a uh, for an action figure. There we go. Uh, right, so let's uh, let's have a look at this guy's rankings and his third-party tech specs, see what we decide. So, build quality, Grind Rod got a 10. I'm not um, sure Aurora's quite a 10. Okay. Um, he's very, he's very, very, he's very, very close, mm -hmm. but there's, you know, there's a few, you know, as you, say, you said earlier, a few little issues with the paint, with the paint shop. They're not huge issues, but, but they worry me, because I yeah, nitpick I, about these things. I think from the standard we came to expect from Grind Rod, which is absolutely flawless. Like, they obviously had some issues in the production of Aurora with the way he was delayed at so many online stores, and they burnt a few bridges with this figure. Um, I know Chi Mung Mung and Kapow Toys in Britain have said that they are no longer going to be stocking Toy World products after selling Hegemon, Grind Rod, and <coughs> Hardbone. Sorry. <laughs> Never not funny. Um, yes, so it's a shame uh, because the third uh, throttle bot is already in the offing. It's uh, a Lamborghini Urus in a lovely metallic red, and that is going to be Chase or oh. Trace as they're calling him. Uh, and he looks like he's going to form one of the arms. He looks uh, looks pretty good. So alas, build quality. He, he does feel. I don't, feels pretty much the same weight. I mm. think it's just because the plastic is white, it just feels a bit more 
fragile. Yeah, it's got it's got a different feel feel in the hand. Yeah. And that, I think that is just because of the mix. White plastic does tend to feel a bit lighter and a bit more uh, flimsy, even if it isn't. So build quality. Just because of a couple of bits of sloppy paint, I think that knocks him down to maybe nine, eight and a half. Yeah, I, I would say nine. I would say nine. All right, we'll we'll call him a nine. Slight paint issues, but other than that, no big deal. Design. I, I, have, I have no complaints. No, it, 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 um, it's a crack. It's a it is a cracking piece of design work. It really is. The issue with the gun will deal with under accessories, I think. Uh, so I'd say. The design of the robot itself, all four wheels reach the same level on the table, it rolls yep. perfectly well. I think the way the legs are constructed is fantastic, really clever, uh, everything tucks away, everything slots together in both modes very, very well. Only issue is that it's difficult to get the head up, because the head, as you can see, is in two pieces. Uh, the blue front half and the, the, yellow, the translucent yellow back half, and the way the neck is designed, or the way that the shoulders are designed, there's a gap between the two, well it's not a gap, but there's a line between the two pieces of the torso back in the front, and that's not an issue, I do apologise. The, the two pieces of the head come together right on the corner at the front of the neck, so it is sometimes hard to get the head past that. Yeah, you, you have to kind of lift it, and it I did worry the uh, second time I did it because I thought I was going to break the thing. I, d I did feel feel that I was meeting a lot of resistance, you know, when I, you know, when I did it. It's right. So I think the design would be a ten without question. The only issue was the gun not fitting over the the hand, and that's been fixed. But now we've got the the issues with the head. That's difficult to come up just because of the the seam. Yeah. So I think that knocks it down to about an eight and a half because it frightened me. It genu I was genuinely worried it was going to break it the first couple of times. I yeah, I was I was as well. I'd been I'd been inclined to agree. You're looking at at a, at about a, a point and a half off for that. Uh, All right. As I say, very clever, quite ambitious, but small issues can have big implications. Yeah. All right. Transformation. Same as grind rod. Very very clever. Uh, no issues with parts sliding past each other. It is made a bit easier with the, the slightly less stiff leg joints. Yeah. Um, I mean, I mean, other other than the other than the issue with that, wouldn't you? Know, the design issue issue with with the head. It's once you, once you know once you work out where everything's supposed to go, or or if you know going in, it feels very intuitive. Uh, every, you know, everything yeah. goes into a sensible place. That's yeah. Well, he's. He's already lost points in design for the head. Yeah, so we're not going to penalise gonna, him again. We're not going to punish him twice. So, uh, I'd say he's he's at the top of the chart. Yeah, I, I, would, I, would as, I would agree. A solid 10. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Alt modes. Alt mode, in this case. He is he is a Land Rover. Evoke. Uh, pretty good. Yeah. Uh, there is a place to store the weapon, if you don't mind fiddling with it. Um, Paint is very carefully applied. Um, maybe a touch fast on occasion. You see, there's even a little bit of black has just been flicked onto the on a piece that shouldn't have it. But you know, it's I only notice it because grind rods came out so well. So no, the the, the car looks fantastic. Yes, uh, the car looks fantastic. Car mo car mo for me gets it gets a, a full marks. I I would agree. I, I would have to agree. That's it's you know it's little touches like even having the having the, the British number plate, you know, <laughs> you know that do it. <laughs> yeah, how could I forget? Um, right, accuracy. Now we only gave Grindrod about a five and a half for accuracy because he's not necessary. He doesn't immediately look like uh, like Robar. No, Robar. Yeah, no, he doesn't. Um, Serves light. If you, if you weren't uh, intimately familiar with the stories that featured the throttle box, you wouldn't immediately look at them and say, oh, that's yeah. X-1987 Transformers figure. Um, but I'd say he's, he's pretty close, and the fact that they included the big the big lights, yes, yeah. that, that, gets a, that gets bonus points of me, just because it's a very small detail that adds a lot, and must have been hard to produce because it's all painted. You know, that is just white plastic. They had to paint the silver over the top and the yellow on the front. 
And I speak from experience when I say that painting on yellow is an enormous pain. It is. It's uh, <laughs> something you avoid if you possibly can. So, I'd say for that, it bumps his accuracy up to about a 7. Yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd, you know, I'd go with that. He does actually feel closer closer to the original searchlight than um, when Grind Rod did to Rollbar. Blatantness. Now, blatantness and accuracy may seem very similar, but here I think is a good illustration of when they diverge. Because you don't immediately assume that this is a throttle bot. No. It's a very different vehicle mode. The robot mode is identifiable as searchlight, but not in a way that it feels like a ripoff. So I'd even yeah. not blatant this down to three. Uh, you know, I would, I would actually, I would actually agree. Um, you know, the, the way the legs actually transform, it, form gives it, gives it quite a different look in, in the details. Um, and of course, the original searchlight was a rally car. Yes. This isn't. Yes, it's a, it's a very, it's a very, you know, very different, different vehicle shell. So. Yeah. So yes. They, they made yeah. a lot of changes, and yet it's still a reasonably good uh, approximation in humanoid mode. Yes. Yeah. A lot of effort has gone into that. Uh, I think Land Rover would disagree, but for blatantness, I'll only give him a three. So there. Accessories. He's got a gun. Yep. He's got a gun that folds up and stores it under his bonnet. And then when you take it back out, you can't open it up again. So Yeah. <laughs> what did what did Grindrod get for the gun that he couldn't quite hold? He got a four for that. Yeah. I think he's getting a four as well. Yes. Uh, it's, <coughs> you know, uh, we we appreciate the efforts of, of giving him the gun, but um it's, yeah. Yeah, we don't necessarily appreciate the fiddliness of actually deploying it. Still an issue. There we are. So paperwork. He's got his card. He's got his stats. I didn't think to check how they stack up against the original. Um, I, su like I suspect there, there's, there's been some some inflation's gone on there. Probably a bit of power creep and a uh, full set of uh, render-based instructions. They're quite clear. Um, I didn't use them because I'd already transformed grind rod and I, I could figure out what I was doing. Um, but but, you know, but if, you, if you had if you had to use them from scratch, they, you know they're they're fairly easy to follow. Yeah, yeah, they're they're quite comprehensive and detailed. And uh, they show you everything you got to do. So that's as you'd expect. So I'd say paperwork. Uh, well, we did only give Grain rather four for his paperwork. So in the interest of fairness. Yeah, I, yeah, I would agree. That's, say, I agree yeah, a, that's four, a four as well. Four again. In hindsight, maybe maybe a bit stingy. What the hell? So there we are. That's Aurora. He's done all right. Yeah. So some issues from Grain Rod solved. A couple of new ones introduced. I'm quite excited to see uh, what they come up with with Trace, because he looks like he's going to be a very different figure. Uh, my only issue is, <laughs> where am I going to buy him from? <laughs> so, there we are. That's Aurora. He's available from a lot of online stores now. Get him if you like him. <laughs>